Disaster Day of Crisis for the Wii. Raymond Bryce is a rescue person. His hair kind of goes against the whole you should probably be wearing a helmet for this job thing, but what the hey. He loses a partner as they are trying to rescue people from an erupting volcano, and years later he still hasn't been able to con to go to the sister of this deceased partner and tell her what happened. So these years later, a new disaster, in fact a series of them, begins to hit a city and Raymond is caught in the middle of it. Also, there is a military group, former military group, by the name of Surge, and I'm not entirely sure that actually is an abbreviation of anything, I think they just thought it sounded cool. They are trying to steal some nukes, and they have plans. And they are using these disasters, excuse me, disasters as cover for what they're doing, you know, to avoid too much attention. And Raymond will also be fighting those. In fact, he'll be killing far more soldiers than he'll be saving people, but whatever. The game is essentially one of those adventure games where you are running from place to place, you occasionally have to pick up an item and apply it to somewhere else. You know, there might be like little tasks where you have to press a key repeatedly in order to get past an area. There are timing tests. And amongst the running back and forth, there are these mini-games where you are trying to save people. For example, you can apply... you can engage in CPR and you literally use the Wiimote as the hands on the chest, you know, the old thing, you know, and you have to do it in time. And it's just like when you watch, you know, the shows or movies where they do that. And you have to grab someone's hand at the exact right time. You have to clean people's wounds and, you know, bandage whatever open wounds they might have. You sometimes have to carry someone who is out away from a, a smoky or smoggy area so that they can breathe once more. You yourself have to make sure that you're not in a smoky area for too long or your lungs will fill with smoke. There are also these rail gun, rail shooting, not rail gun, rail shooting sequences where you take on the surge troops. And there are literally a lot of these not necessarily in one situation, well near the end there are, but through the game you will fight quite a few. I think Surge might have stolen an entire, or converted an entire battalion of troops. They are former US military, anyway. And basically what you can do is switch back and forth between four different weapons. You can take cover, aim, shoot, and reload. And you of course aim by pointing the Wiimote at the screen. You start with just a pistol, and you can also buy a submachine gun, a shotgun, and a couple of more destructive weapons, such as a rocket launcher. 
And finally, there are sequences where you drive, and this is the same as with other driving games for the Wii. Basically, you tilt the Wii remote, visual aid, like this, and you tilt it to the sides, use it as a steering wheel. Sometimes the camera will be behind you for these sequences, sometimes it will be in front of you, and there will be arrows letting you know, okay, go to this side, or avoid this or that side, you know, and basically you'll be driving away from various disasters like tidal waves, an erupting volcano, in general you'll come across many disasters in this and have to save the people who are nearby, and you'll get some info about real life disasters, and of course it is a bit like a Hollywood movie, you know, the stuff you survive and the people that just happen to, you know, you just happen to get to them in time. It is not entirely credible, but it is still fairly realistic, somewhat, and it's really, really entertaining. I mean, when you first hear that it's a game where you spend a lot of time just saving people, it might sound a little boring but it really isn't. It's a lot of fun and very, very intense. It's also exactly what 2010 the Roland Emmerich movie should have been. It's just plain entertaining. In fact, I think that concept really works much better as a video game than a movie. The graphics are, of course, not fantastic. It is for the Wii console. Fire doesn't look very good. But on the whole, it's perfectly acceptable, certainly. Controls are pretty good. The level design is nice. It is essentially linear, but it doesn't really feel like it. You feel like you are in this city that's being hit by a barrage of disasters. Near the end, this does get oddly self-aware and calling itself an action movie, a Hollywood action movie, and it really comes kind of out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. And, as you can probably guess, the sister of your deceased partner is, of course, a damsel in distress. You have to rescue her. There are also swimming sequences. and you have to do some balancing and some careful navigation to avoid, for example, falling into deep water. I think that is about what there is to say about the game. If the concept at all sounds appealing to you, and you already have the Wii console, I would definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun. The driving can be frustrating at times. It sometimes seems like the car really isn't that interested in doing what you want it to do, reacting when you want it to and when you need it to, but on the whole, it is definitely worth it. There is not really any of the game that is only frustrating. You know, it can be a lot of repetition, a lot of doing the same thing over and over because you die just a little bit further than you can go safely, but at the end of the day it is very satisfying to complete this game. And there are some unlockables and such, and it grades your performance, so you might be coming back to it.
that was my spoiler for review of Disaster, Day of Crisis. Yes, all these things actually happen in 24 hours. It's mind-blowing. I hope you enjoyed it.